M. Kite Shamal is back with a brand new film. I felt like I just watched a movie by him. Oh no, that was his daughter with The Watchers. But now he's back with the new, you know what? It's almost disingenuous to call it a film because really this is not, uh, this new thing, this new experience to be gentle about it is really nothing more than a promotional video for his daughter and her acting talent. Not the, not the director daughter, the other one, the actress, the singer, the trap. Let's review this thing in spoiler free fashion. M. Knights of the Old Republic has set out once more with a unique movie that promises a twist at the end, a hook, something to keep you invested. And in that aspect, sure, I was, I was kind of invested. I was on the hook for whatever this thing was supposed to be. The premise itself on its face is dumb as hell. And I can't go into details why here, but just take my word for it. And again, I'm gonna break it down in a spoiler video next, so please think about subscribing to the channel. I post movie content every single week. It's movies all the time here, folks. The pretend main protagonist of this film is Cooper, played by Josh Hartnett. But the real focus of the film is gonna be on the pop sensation Lady Raven, a fictitious character played by M. Night's daughter. Cooper, being the wonderful dad that he is, scored really awesome tickets to the Lady Raven concert so he can take his daughter Riley to it. She's a big fan. <laughs> Who isn't a big fan of Lady Raven? And you have yourself a Lady Raven event spectacular. Lady Raven's great. She's amazing. Uh, M. Night's Daughter is phenomenal. Watch M. Night's Daughter. Go on Spotify. You can hear the entire Trap soundtrack with a lot of songs by her. It, it just, really, this is a testament to her as an individual, as a artist, as a singer, as a musician, as an actress, as everything. Oh yeah, the movie Trap. Yeah, that's a thing too that's in this. When you're not listening to the amazing generic pop music blasting your earballs into submission for about 30% of the film, I'm, I'm ballparking, but I think that's about accurate. There's a lot of songs, a lot of costume changes, a lot of set changes. We will be focusing a bit of time on Josh's character, Cooper. Cooper is a wanted man. So the FBI, in their infinite wisdom, determines the best way to spring a trap on this guy is to set up a sting operation at a fucking arena that's sold out full of young girls, teenagers, moms, dads, and all walks of ages. It's just so simple to catch a guy that they don't actually know the physical appearance of. It's perfect. That's not a spoiler. That's legitimately the plot of this film. And that's all I'm going to say about the plot. Pacing wise, this moves at a decent speed. As long as you can stand the pop music that's going on 24 seven at the concert, it does move well. I'll give it that much and that much alone because the character choices, the dialogue, the way people interact is still something M night has never figured out. All his shit is so awkward. For a movie like Split that I really loved, it works better because we're talking about an unhinged maniac. But Cooper is supposed to be a man of the people. He is supposed to be jovial. He's supposed to blend in. And this guy's like Ethan fucking Hunt. He can disappear and reappear like Houdini. They cannot find this guy ever. And the amount of information he is able to extract from every person he comes into contact with is absolutely ridiculous. From a visual standpoint, it's it's not going to be a feast for your eyes by any means, but it's competently done. M. Night's very good behind the camera. Implausible or not, I think people will be at least interested and invested for the first half of the movie. And as things start to change, as locations shift, it's definitely going to be hard to stay with this thing because it just progressively gets worse and worse and dumber and dumber. As for the acting, here's what I'll say to it. If you are in a bad movie, if you have bad dialogue, if the direction is really silly, no matter how good you are, it's gonna come off as campy, corny, and just all around kind of stupid. And unfortunately for Josh Hartnett, who I think is a very competent, capable actor, he's in a stupid ass movie. So his performance is coming out in the worst way possible. It's a little hammy. It's a little lame. But you put him in something by like a Christopher Nolan and I think he, not, well, he did. He was in Oppenheimer and he did great in that film. It just goes to show the difference a director can make. 
As for Salika Shamalama Ding Dong as Lady Raven, dear God, some of the acting is just just terrible later on. It might not be her fault. Her dad just might be giving her some bad direction. He's certainly had problems with past actors when it comes to giving them lines, telling them how to, you know, read the room. The actress that plays Riley is fine. She, she does a serviceable job. Again, I feel bad. They're just in a bad movie. So it's hard to really get a good performance out of such bad dialogue. The theater was pretty full. I saw some teenagers leave. They seemed like they had a good time with it. So I don't know. During my showing though, there were people laughing at parts that were supposed to be serious. There were, there were very loud laughter, especially as it wound down. So I do think, yeah, people are having fun, but it's at the movie's expense. Not because they're having such a great time with the ride. So those are my thoughts. M. Night's done it again, baby. M. Night's back. <laughs> to ruin my movie experience. I want to know your thoughts though. Are you going? Have you seen it? Were you planning to? But now because of this scathing review, you're, you're, you're going to walk away. I apologize. I, I don't want you to feel like you have to listen to me. This is just my two cents. You might have a very different experience. The last great M. Night movie I saw was Split, which was incredibly well done, I thought. But again, I think the acting elevated that movie. He, he was able to really rise above. But then we had Glass, which ruined any goodwill that M. Night ever had. That movie was ass. And then we had that Cabin film that was in, was painfully mediocre, to put it nicely. I, I just He just has had miss after miss. Those are my thoughts, though. Please, again, think about subscribing so you can see that spoiler review, along with a ton of other stuff I have coming up. I'm going to be doing a live stream if you're watching this today as it posts. I'm going to be doing a live stream tonight about my favorite Deadpool movie. I'm going to be joined with Hack the Movies. It's going to be a great time. Would love to have you for that. So there you have it. Like the video, subscribe. There's Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's a second channel, Adam Does Rants. Love to have you at all these places. Hopefully I see you next time.